Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just uh, filmed a thingy or recorded a thing and filmed a thing. And I just saw that I'm having a pretty handsome day today. See my hair? I'm having a pretty handsome day today, so I thought, and I've got a bit of energy, so I thought I should do another video. Um, today, I'm or right now I'm gonna talk about Suetonius, Suetonius's book, The 12 Caesars. Um, this is a history book written uh, obviously way back, way back when, I think, during the reign of hmm I can't his name doesn't come to me right off but anyway the 12 Caesars are the 12 Roman emperors um, well including Julius Caesar if you count him in, as an emperor um, from Julius Caesar or Caesar Augustus um, the book is short enough um, probably 200 pages 250 something like that but it's miserable it's very depressing I find it's good history um, you know it's very informative um, the first and it, it I, I would say that it progressively gets briefer and briefer so um, the first section dealing with Julius Caesar is pretty long Caesar Augustus is really long then we got Tiberius and then I guess the next couple, Nero and Claudius and so on, are decently long. But towards the end, uh, the, the last Caesars uh, is much shorter um, for whatever reason. Oh, I'll tell you the reason. They just didn't reign lo as long. So um, let me just say it's a good history. Like it's informative, but it's depressing because all these Caesars were just despicable human beings. And I include Julius Caesar, I include Caesar Augustus, I include Tiberius. And you know who the best one was? Well, the ones towards the end were not too bad because they weren't emperors long enough. In fact, what was it? The year of the three emperors, four emperors, whatever. Um, so some of them only reigned a couple months. Um, but you know who stood out as the best of them, morally speaking? Claudius. Um, and so I, I came across when I was listening to Claudius, this, the chapter on Claudius, um, I realized he was the best of them, like morally speaking. And I remembered that this book, I Claudius, was was written, and uh, it's is really quite a, a well. Oh, it was quite a renowned novel, actually. And in fact, there's a follow up or a second volume or whatever called Claudius the God. Um, these are written in first person perspective. So it's Claudius telling the story. And the reason I wanted to, to read this was that I found Claudius to be the most uh, respectable of all, the, of all these emperors. And Claudius is interesting because he was um, the most physically and perhaps uh, intellectually disadvantaged. So I can't remember this straight up, but Claudius was Nero's uncle, I think how it went. So it goes down, it goes like um, Augustus is Caesar's nephew, Tiberius is Caesar's nephew, is Augustus' nephew, Nero was his grandson or something like that. And then Claudius was the uncle to Nero. I think that's how it went. And then it goes on, oh sorry, I forgot Caligula, anyway. Anyway, I'll, maybe I'll put a list up here about of the sequence. Uh, it gets a little confusing, especially because there's a couple couple figures who, like Germanicus, was one of Tiberius's children. I think his oldest son, and he was quite a uh, accomplished person, but he died before he could inherit the throne, so it didn't go to Germanicus. It went to Nero, I guess. But anyway. Um, all these emperors lived despicable lives. Um, and it's interesting, you know, started by Claudius, um, he sort of focuses on the negative influence that Caesar, August Caesar Augustus's wife had on Caesar Augustus and sort of mucked up the whole thing, treated Claudius bad as a youngster and all that stuff. Um, that, like traditionally speaking, Caesar Augustus is the first official emperor, uh, is always considered like the greatest emperor or something. 
but he wasn't morally the greatest. He was m very morally defective in many ways. Um, and, you know, Julius Caesar as well. I mean, nobody would consider him a, you know, a moral, uh, a, a saint or whatever. But the depravity of these emperors was astonishing. And sort of the only the only respite in all that is Claudius and uh, it's it's funny you know so the first the first emperors are from the Julio Claudian dynasty so it runs basically from well it's called the Claudian dynasty it starts with Julius so it's basically the Julian branch of the Claudian family I think is how it goes um, and the last of those is Claudius I believe and then it passes on to the next to the next dynasty actually not right away there's a couple people that the the army just threw in as emperor for a short while and then it comes to the next dynasty um, which is escaping me at this very moment anyway we're talking about uh, uh, the 12 Caesars by Suetonius uh, is it worthwhile reading yeah is it the best and only source on these first emperors no, there's a few others, but it, it's a good book. And um, if you're into uh, records of depravity, of vengeance, of torture and all that, well, there you go. It's a fairly quick read in that sense, but I found it pretty damn depressing. OK, thanks, guys. You have a great day and we'll talk to you very soon.